Lydia was an Iron Age kingdom of Western Asia Minor located generally east of ancient Ionia in the modern western Turkish provinces of USAK, Manisa and inland Izmir. Its population spoke an Anatolian language known as Lydian. At its greatest extent, the kingdom of Lydia covered all of western Anatolia. Lydia was a satrapy of the Achaemenid Persian Empire, with Sardis as its capital. Tabalus, appointed by Cyrus the Great, was the first satrap. Lydia was later the name of a Roman province. Coins are said to have been invented in Lydia around the 7th century BC, defining Lydia. The endonym Fard survives in bilingual and trilingual stone-carved notices of the Achaemenid Empire. The satrapy of Sparta, Aramaic Sparta, Babylonian Sapadu, Elamitic Isbada, Hebrew. These in the Greek tradition are associated with Sardis, the capital city of King Gyges, constructed during the 7th century BC. The cultural ancestors appear to have been associated with or part of the Luwin political entity of Arzawa, yet the Lydian language is not part of the Luwin subgroup. An Etruscan Lydian association has long been a subject of conjecture. The Greek historian Herodotus stated that the Etruscans came from Lydia, repeated in Virgil's epic poem The Aeneid, and Etruscan like language was found on the Lemnos Stella from the Aegean Sea island of Lemnos. However, recent decipherment of Lydian and its classification as an Anatolian language mean that Etruscan and Lydian were not even part of the same language family. Nevertheless, a recent genetic study of likely Etruscan descendants in Tuscany found strong similarities with individuals in western Anatolia. Geography The boundaries of historical Lydia varied across the centuries. It was bounded first by Mysia, Caria, Phrygia and coastal Ionia. Later, the military power of Aliates II and Croesus expanded Lydia, which, with its capital at Sardis, controlled all Asia Minor west of the River Halys, except Lycia. Lydia never again shrank back into its original dimensions. After the Persian conquest the river Meander was regarded as its southern boundary, and during Imperial Roman times Lydia comprised the country between Mysia and Caria on the one side and Phrygia and the Aegean Sea on the other. Language the Lydian language was an Indo-European language in the Anatolian language family, related to Lewin and Hittite. It used many prefixes and grammatical particles. Lydian finally became extinct during the 1st century BC. History Early History Meonia and Lydia Lydia developed as a Neo-Hittite kingdom after the decline of the Hittite Empire in the 12th century BC. In Hittite times, the name for the region had been Arzawa, it was a Luwan-speaking area. According to Greek source, the original name of the Lydian kingdom was Maeonia, or Meonia. Homer refers to the inhabitants of Lydia as Maeones. Homer describes their capital not as Sardis but as Hyde. Hyde may have been the name of the district in which Sardis was located. Later, Herodotus adds that the Myones were renamed Lydians after their king Lydis, son of Atys. During the mythical epoch that preceded the Heraclea dynasty, this etiological eponym served to account for the Greek ethnic name Lydwa. The Hebrew term for Lydians, Ludham, as found in the book of Jeremiah, has been similarly considered, beginning with Flavius Josephus, to be derived from Lud son of Shem. However Hippolytus of Rome offered an alternative opinion that the Lydians were descended from Ludham, son of Mizraim. During biblical times, the Lydian warriors were famous archers. Some may once still existed during historical times in the upland interior along the river Hermus, where a town named Meonia existed. According to Pliny the Elder and Hierocles, Lydia in Greek mythology Lydian mythology is virtually unknown, and their literature and rituals lost. In the absence of any monuments or archaeological finds with extensive inscriptions, therefore myths involving Lydia are mainly from Greek mythology. For the Greeks, Tantalus was a primordial ruler of mythic Lydia, and Niobe, his proud daughter, her husband Amphon associated Lydia with Thebes in Greece. 
and through Pelops the line of Tantalus was part of the founding myths of Mycenae's second dynasty. In Greek myth, Lydia was also the origin place of the double axe, the Labrys. Omphale, daughter of the river Iodanos, was a ruler of Lydia, whom Heracles was required to serve for a time. His adventures in Lydia are the adventures of a Greek hero in a peripheral and foreign land. During his stay, Heracles enslaved the Etones, killed Silius who forced passers-by to hoe his vineyard, slew the serpent of the river Sangarios and captured the Simeon tricksters, the Circopes. Accounts tell of at least one son born to Omphale and Heracles. Diodorus Siculus and Ovid mention a son Lamos, while Pseudo Apollodorus gives the name Age Laws, and Pausanias names Ticinus son of Heracles by the Lydian woman. All three heroic ancestors indicate a Lydian dynasty claiming Heracles as their ancestor. Herodotus refers to a Heraclid dynasty of kings who ruled Lydia, yet were perhaps not descended from Omphale. He also mentions the recurring legend that the Etruscan civilization was founded by colonists from Lydia led by Tyrenus, brother of Lydius. However, Dionysius of Halicarnassus was skeptical of this story, indicating that the Etruscan language and customs were known to be totally dissimilar to those of the Lydians. Later chronographers also ignored Herodotus's statement that Agron was the first to be a king, and included Alcius, Belus, and Linus in their list of kings of Lydia. Strabo makes Sati Wise, father of Lydis and Tyrrhenus, to be a descendant of Heracles and Omphale. All other accounts name Ati Wise, Lydis, and Tyrrhenus as being among the pre heraclid kings of Lydia. The gold deposits in the river Pactolus that were the source of the proverbial wealth of Croesus were said to have been left there when the legendary king Midas of Phrygia washed away the Midas touch in its waters. In Euripides' tragedy The Bacca, Dionysus, while he is maintaining his human disguise, declares his country to be Lydia. First coinage according to Herodotus. The Lydians were the first people to use gold and silver coins and the first to establish retail shops in permanent locations. It is not known, however, whether Herodotus meant that the Lydians were the first to use coins of pure gold and pure silver or the first precious metal coins in general. Despite this ambiguity, this statement of Herodotus is one of the pieces of evidence often cited in behalf of the argument that Lydians invented coinage, at least in the West, even though the first coins were neither gold nor silver but an alloy of the two. The dating of these first stamped coins is one of the most frequently debated topics of ancient numismatics, with dates ranging from 700 BC to 550 BC. But the most common opinion is that they were minted at or near the beginning of the reign of King Alyates, who ruled Lydia c. 610-550 BC. The first coins were made of electrum, an alloy of gold and silver that occurs naturally but that was further debased by the Lydians with added silver and copper. The largest of these coins are commonly referred to as a one-third state of denomination, weighing around 4.7 grams. Though no full staters of this type have ever been found, and the one-third stater probably should be referred to more correctly as a stater, after a type of a transversely held scale, the weights used in such a scale, which also means standard, these coins were stamped with a lion's head adorned with what is likely a sunburst, which was the king's symbol. To complement the largest denomination, fractions were made, including a hectare, hemi-hectare, and so forth down to a 96th with the 196th stator weighing only about 0.15 grams. There is disagreement, however, over whether the fractions below the 12th are actually Lydian. Aliotas' son was Croesus, who became associated with great wealth. Sardis was renowned as a beautiful city. Around 550 BC, near the beginning of his reign, Croesus paid for the construction of the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. 
which became one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Croesus was defeated in battle by Cyrus II of Persia in 546 BC, with the Lydian kingdom losing its autonomy and becoming a Persian satrapy. Autochthonous dynasties Lydia was ruled by three dynasties. Atiads, Heraclids According to Herodotus the Heraclids ruled for 22 generations during the period from 1185 BC, lasting for 505 years. Alyates was the king of Lydia in 776 BC. The last king of this dynasty was Mercilos or Candaulis. Candaulus, after ruling for 17 years he was assassinated by his former friend Giges, who succeeded him on the throne of Lydia. Mermnad Giges, called Gugu of Ludu in Assyrian inscriptions, once established on the throne. Giges devoted himself to consolidating his kingdom and making it a military power. The capital was relocated from high to Sardis. Barbarian Sumerians sacked many Lydian cities, except for Sardis. Giges was the son of Dasherilus, who, when recalled from banishment in Cappadocia by the Lydian king Mercilos, called Candaulus the dog strangler by the Greeks, sent his son back to Lydia instead of himself. Giges turned to Egypt, sending his faithful Carian troops along with Ionian mercenaries to assist Samaticus in ending Assyrian domination. Some Bible scholars believe that Giges of Lydia was the biblical character Gog, ruler of Magog, who is mentioned in the book of Ezekiel and the book of Revelation. Adis II, Sadiats or Herodotus wrote that he fought with Syaxes, the descendant of Deiasus, and with the Medes, drove out the Sumerians from Asia, captured Smyrna, which had been founded by colonists from Colophon, and invaded the city-states Clazomenare and Miletus. Alyates II, one of the greatest kings of Lydia. When Syaxes attacked Lydia, the kings of Cilicia and Babylon intervened and negotiated a peace in 585 BC, whereby the river Halis was established as the Medes' frontier with Lydia. Herodotus writes, on the refusal of Alyates to give up his supplicants when Syaxes sent to demand them of him, war broke out between the Lydians and the Medes, and continued for five years, with various success. In the course of it the Medes gained many victories over the Lydians, and the Lydians also gained many victories over the Medes. The Battle of the Eclipse was the final battle in a five-year war between Alyates II of Lydia and Syaxes of the Medes. It took place on May 28, 585 BC, and ended abruptly due to a total solar eclipse. Croesus, the expression, rich as Croesus, refers to this king. The Lydian Empire ended when Croesus attacked the Persian Empire of Cyrus II and was defeated in 546 BC. Persian Empire in 547 BC, the Lydian king Croesus besieged and captured the Persian city of Teria in Cappadocia and enslaved its inhabitants. The Persian king Cyrus the Great marched with his army against the Lydians. The Battle of Teria resulted in a stalemate, thus forcing the Lydians to retreat to their capital city of Sardis. Some months later, the Persian and Lydian kings met at the Battle of Thymbra. Cyrus won and captured the capital city of Sardis by 546 BC. Hellenistic Empire Lydia remained a satrapy after Persia's conquest by the Macedonian king Alexander III of Macedon. When Alexander's empire ended after his death, Lydia was possessed by the major Asian Diadoche dynasty, the Seleucids. And when it was unable to maintain its territory in Asia Minor, Lydia was acquired by the Italian dynasty of Pergamum. Its last king avoided the spoils and ravage of a Roman war of conquest by leaving the realm by testament to the Roman Empire. Roman province of Asia When the Romans entered the capital Sardis in 133 BC, Lydia, as the other western parts of the Italid legacy, 
became part of the province of Asia, a very rich Roman province, worthy of a governor with the high rank of proconsul. The whole west of Asia Minor had Jewish colonies very early, and Christianity was also soon present there. Acts of the Apostles 1614-15 mentions the baptism of a merchant woman called Lydia from Thyatira, known as Lydia of Thyatira. In what had once been the satrapy of Lydia, Christianity spread rapidly during the 3rd century AD, based on the nearby exarchate of Ephesus. Roman province of Lydia under the Tetrarchy reform of Emperor Diocletian in 296 AD, Lydia was revived as the name of a separate Roman province, much smaller than the former satrapy, with its capital at Sardis. Together with the provinces of Caria, Hellespontis, Lycia, Pamphylia, Phrygia Prima and Phrygia Secunda, Pisidia and the Insuli, it formed the Diocese of Asiana, which was part of the Praetorian Prefecture of Oriens, together with the Dioceses Pontiana, Oriens proper, Egyptus and Thracia. Byzantine age under the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius, Lydia became part of Anatolicon, one of the original Themata, and later of Thracian. Although the Seljuk Turks conquered most of the rest of Anatolia, forming the Sultanate of Iconian, Lydia remained part of the Byzantine Empire. Under Turkish rule Lydia was captured finally by Turkish Beyliks, which were all absorbed by the Ottoman state in 1390. The area became part of the Ottoman Aydın province, and is now of the modern Republic of Turkey. Christianity Lydia had numerous Christian communities, and after Christianity became the official religion of the Roman Empire in the 4th century became one of the provinces of the Diocese of Asia in the Patriarchate of Constantinople. The ecclesiastical province of Lydia had a metropolitan diocese at Sardis and suffragan dioceses for Philadelphia, Thyatira, Tripolis, Setai, Gordus, Tralus, Salandus, Mionia, Apollonos, Hiram, Mosina, Apollonias, Italia, Hycania, Bage, Balandus, Hermacapella, Hyrissus area, Acrasis. Dalda, Stratonitia, Sarasa, Gabala, Setela, Aureliopolis and Helenopolis. Bishops from the various dioceses of Lydia were well represented at the Council of Nicaea in 325 and at the later ecumenical councils. Episcopal sees Ancient Episcopal sees of the late Roman province of Lydia listed in the Annuario Pontifico as titular sees. Acrasus, Apollonize. Apollonos Hieron, Italian Lydia, Aureliopolis in Lydia, Bagus, Blaundus, Cornus, Cirassa, Daldus, Gordus, Hermacapellia, Hyrus's area, Hypepa, Hycanus, Lepara, Mesotimolis, Mosina, Philadelphia in Lydia, Saetai, Sala, Sardes, Materopolitan Archbishopric, Sartela in Lydia, Salandus, Stratonicia in Lydia, Tabala, Thyatira, Tracula, Tralis, Tripolis in Lydia, Lydian gods, Anit, Annex, Artemis, Asterios, Atagatis, Atys, Bacchi, see also Bacchus, Bacerius, Damason, Gugai, Guja, Gugaia, Hermes, Hypta, Halos, Candorlis, Caustrus, Cubeba, Lometrus, Leucos, Lydian Lion, Melus, Moxis, Omphale, Erdance, 